Welcome to Mesa Morning Light, a program of the Mesa Chamber of Commerce. I'm Tony Noakes, and with me today is Andy Surratt, a operations manager for CMC Steel here in Mesa, Arizona, and we are going to be touring the latest, greatest expansion project here at the CMC Mill. And Andy's going to give us a little tease about what's in store, Andy. Well, Tony, welcome to the most environmentally friendly steel mill in North America. And behind you, you see the construction of one that will be even greener. There you go. Let's get started. So we have made our way inside the steel mill and we are standing in what looks like a control room. Where, where are we? We call this the melt shop pulpit and we operate the electric arc furnace and the ladle metallurgical furnace in here. And how much steel comes through here on a daily basis? Annually we produce over 430,000 tons of steel on an annual basis, both rebar and T-post that's used in fen fencing applications. Now you said that this is, uh, you guys rate really high on the sustainability chart, so I'm wondering why? What, what is the reason why this is such a, a great place for sustainability? Because most people think of steel mills as building out black smoke and you know lots of noise and uh, a lot of grit. Well CMC is a green company with, if not, the lowest emissions in the industry itself, especially here in Mesa, Arizona. We have developed and invest in innovative technologies that lower our impact on the environment. Uh, hopefully someday the steel mill will be able to melt with solar power or wind power. You're blowing my mind there, that's fantastic. We're getting there, we're getting there. Rumor has it that this is the place to hang out if you want to see that those flowing lava flows of steel coming down. Is, is that correct? Are we at the right spot? It's what we call tapping heat, but this is the area. Tapping the heat. Tapping the heat. Yes. Uh, are we going to be tapping heat today? We are. Yeah, all right. In the immortal words of Paris Hilton, that's hot. I'm going to steal away to a cooler spot now. Oh my goodness, that's impressive. So this is what you call AZ2? AZ2, yes sir. All right, tell me about it. Well, at CMC, we're always looking at ways to improve our process and reduce our impact on the environment. In August of 2020, we announced AZ2, which will be the world's first micromill using the continuous, continuous process to produce both rebar and merchant products right here in Arizona. Once this expansion project is built, how much steel annually will be going through here? It'll be about 950,000 tons of steel a year between the two mills themselves. Talk to me about what kind of jobs are gonna be available once AZ2 is finished. So we, we're gonna hire another 185 direct jobs to the mill here everything from shipping and inventory to operators like we were in the pulpit earlier yeah. to a mill, mill pulpit operator. And then I understand you've got some sort of program that you're developing to entice people to come in and apply? What's that about? Well, with the new plant coming on, we are committed to develop and train our employees. We've started a program called the Modern Steelmaker Program. This is a program where we hire in, we send those individuals off to Mesa Community College. We partnered with them to develop a program where they can get classes like welding, electronics, troubleshooting, hydraulics. So those individuals will spend six months in college taking courses, then they'll come to the mill and they'll rotate through the different departments for six months. And at the end, they'll assume key roles in either AZ1 or AZ2. Now in terms of economic impact, we've already talked a little bit about the job, but how else do you foresee uh, the uh, you guys, CMC, and the expansion process uh, helping City of Mesa? Well, it's not only the economic impact, but it's also the revenue that comes with 185 jobs. The indirect jobs with our partners, trucking companies, our contractors, it generates about another thousand jobs throughout the state of Arizona itself. And the economic analysis, it, this plant will impact over a 10 year period, plus both plants together will be about a billion dollars to the local government. Wow, that's fantastic. Booyah!
Andy, this has been incredibly interesting. Thank you for your time on showing us what's going on here at CMC in Arizona. But one last question, where are we at with this current expansion? How, how far down the line are we? Tony, thanks for visiting. Yeah, we have, currently have over 300 contractors on site right now. We're pouring concrete foundations, as you can see in the background. We're also erecting steel, installing equipment, and uh, putting in process piping. So we are on schedule to start up in early 2023. Sounds fantastic. Andy Surratt, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tony Noakes from Mesa Morning Light. Thanks for watching.